and today we're going to be looking at a Welsh sheep yes so we're going to be concentrating on tones and textures and observation if that's something you're interested in please stay with me and we'll grab a brush and paint a lot okay so as I said um, let's paint this sheep so I'm going to take my hat off there we go and um, let's have a look at the colors that we're going to be using today I've left my glasses somewhere where have I put my glasses one minute <laughs> okay for my glasses <laughs> I got some ultramarine blue some cerulean blue I got some cadmium red some yellow which I've mixed together and made an orange as you can see black and white I got a couple of um, brushes my standard brushes I got some filberts I got a short flat I got a detail brush but I've got a couple of these long handled there we go nice long handled ones and this is particular this particular ones are bright that means it it's a short flat but it's slightly longer than a short flat as you can see there we are just want to show you the difference that's a bright the bright is longer bristle and that's a shorter bristle so that's a bright that's a short flat there we go a handle does not make a different difference the only difference with the handle is i can stand back and work at a distance rather than work close up anyway enough of that let's get some paint on this canvas so i got my medium mix as standard there you go um and let's have a look at this painting as you can see there i put a little picture by there um that's a reference i'm going off and I've changed the pose just slightly. Um, I'm sheep being um, a thing of whales. There's loads of sheep in whales. So let's just get on to this. Um, I'm just going to get a little bit of white onto this brush. Just plain titanium white for the moment. And I'm just going to put a little bit of colour just in the background there like that. A little bit of moisture. A little bit of paint. There we are. Now sheep are white. Well... You think they're white you need to observe some you need to observe animals that's a very important thing when we're doing something like this is observation is the key it really is um not not all sheep are white some are black but that's besides the point but there's a multitude of colors there and i'm being a white animal then you're going to find that it adopts a lot of colors as well it, it it, 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 there's a lot of shadows and cast shadows that you can that can fall onto this sheep and it's going to be changing its its um its form when i put my squirty bottle i got a big squirty bottle here there we go um you can buy the small ones there like that in the shop there we go um but i use a slightly bigger one because it's got more water in it and i don't want to keep filling it up so I'm, the only reason i did that it was just just to moist down the surface that I'm working on and um, I don't know what this particular sheep is going to look like so I'm just putting some white you can use gesso if you wanted a, a, a more of a textured surface if you're going to be doing a lot of washes or glazes over this sometimes I just use sometimes I just use um, gesso instead of titanium white um, because it's got a little bit more tooth, tooth to it I want to bring some colour down here and maybe a little bit of color into there I, I want to balance this sheep out a little touch there you go I'm not too worried about the background color coming through that's that lad to it okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get a little bit of ultramarine blue just straight onto that brush that's got the white on it there we go straight onto that brush that's got the white on it and I'm gonna go into the top corner and I'm just gonna Put a little bit of color into this sky and leave in some shapes that might could possibly represent some clouds there we go bringing that down and as i do that it's going to naturally get lighter and lighter and lighter try not to destroy your your drawing um, if, if you want to draw straight onto the canvas you can or you can make a sketch onto a bit of paper and then transfer it there's no law against that at all you do whatever you find as easy for you now ultramarine blue uh, this particular ultramarine blue is is more on the red side um, you can get some green um, shades as well but this is this this has got a, this has got a bit of red in it so it's, it's it's got a bit more of a violet look to it and that's the shape i'm trying to and the tone that i'm trying to build into this sky I, i'm not worried about clouds as such there we go i want to put a bit of green down there in a second um, but before i do that i'm just going to lay my brush down i'm going to pick up um, a blending brush 
that I've got. And again, these are available on the website if you want to pop along and purchase one of them. You're more than welcome. And I'm just going to blend through to smooth down that sky and blend that blue and that white together and just give it a hint just a hint that there may be something in there in the background don't let that dry don't forget that's there and it's got pink on it now i'm going to bring a little bit of ultramarine blue there i'm going to bring a touch of yellow to it i want i want a green color i got a bit of white in my brush as well so always bear that in mind um, i'm just going to grab a little bit of kitchen roll i've changed my studio around yes so i've got everything everywhere it's not the same not the same um, layout as I've been using so I thought I'd have a change for the spring I want to bring a bit of green down just to represent some grass or trees or something like that in the distance you can put some marks like that if you wanted to just to make it look as if it's something going on there and a little bit more yellow just to bring it down there let's just bring a touch of white back into there let's just bring that down there like that just to give it maybe a little look of it may be a bit of grass or he's in a field or something like that and I think he's in a I think he's in a field or something there we are bringing a bit of this what's left on that brush down like that let's just be a bit of green a little bit more blue let's just just a touch of blue, just a small touch of blue, just darken that green up. We want it a blue green, but we want it dark. There we are, just a just a hint, a little bit of that canvas show through, put some shadows in if you want in a couple of these trees. Let's just darken that up again. There you go. I just put a few bits and pieces here and that I don't know it doesn't matter make it up just make it up there we go this gives a little bit of depth and distance there we are we're gonna call her I know my dog's called Molly but we're gonna call this one Molly the sheep I think so I'm washing that brush out still using this bright now do I switch over my brush I wonder let me have a look I'm gonna switch over to a short flat and again I'm picking up some white i'm going to pick up the ceylon blue now into there and we're going to get the color a light blue a nice light blue there we are it's got a nice cool undertone to it there we are it's a little bit of i don't know it looks like it's got a little bit of yellow or green on that i'm not sure anyway it doesn't matter All right let's just lift up in a circle of motion like this there we go in a circle of motion like that I know it looks strange. I just 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 get some fluffiness into this sheep. Let's go a bit lighter. Let's mix in more white to that blue. I don't wanna bring down his If you're following a picture look at it what I suggest you do is I got the picture there there we go what, what I suggest you do is look at that picture give it about two or three minutes and look at that picture look at it really really well and and then until you get that you get that look for the details and then when you put it down don't look at it again then for about three or four seconds well I say seven to ten seconds about seven to ten seconds there's no need to look at that again right so we've looked at it and then we'll just go off memory just go off memory and make a most of that make a most of that let's get a little bit of ultramarine blue I just want to darken this one side and then we lift it again or we pin it up to your board try not to keep looking at it just try and work off right we've done it just try and work off what you have observed and that's that's the key thing there and that's what I'm going to continue to do now as I paint this is I'm just looking 
I've got a bit of ultramarine blue now, so I'm, I'm automatically darkening that up. And we like everything else. We gotta think of shape and form, haven't we? And this is quite a it's it's not an easy subject to paint. It's not, by any chalk. A <laughs> chalk. It's not. But adding a little bit more white just coming around. There we go. Like that. Ugh. Finding his shape. Oh, I got a bit of There we are. It's like as if he's just sticking his head around the canvas. That's what we're looking for. He's just, hello. That's what he's doing. He's going like that. Hello. <laughs> just find that shape. Find that shape. Okay, let's get a little bit of, let's get a little bit of this paint. Let's put that by there. Let's get a little bit of this paint. And let's put that by there. Let's get a little bit more blue into it. Let's mix up a little colour. There we go. No, not using burn down today. I'm using black because you can use black. A little touch of black. That's going to grey that down. Look at that lovely grey. We've got a lovely grey on the blue side now. A lovely blue grey. So let's just get... It's maybe a little bit darker than that. Now how I mixed that orange was I actually used one of these sheets. These mixing sheets which you can use. Or you can use a little bit of um, uh, plastic board. Or you can use um, a, a, a cutting mat. Or you can use anything you want. Or a plate. Mix up a little bit of colours separate from your palette and then you'll find that it's a lot easier to mix colours with a palette knife rather than with a brush. Let's just get that a little bit darker. I want a little bit more dark. Just using the paint that's on the brush now. I don't want a lot of shadow down here but I need enough shadow just to bring in some texture. Maybe a little bit under there. And let's just get a nice sharp edge and let's just find his ear. Like that. What a wonderful way to paint. And practice with different animals if you want. Try doing a, a, a cat or a dog or a, a giraffe or or something like that and observe bear in mind what I said look at this study it put it down and then go for it and that way you'll learn a lot more you certainly will and just use small marks like that and then you'll find that Mr. Sheep will come together quite nicely before your eyes before your very eyes okay it's a little bit more um, ultramarine blue I'm just, I haven't washed my brush yet and I'm still using this short flat so the reason I do that sometimes is just just to limit myself and just make it a little bit more difficult for myself I've got a bit of a shadow coming down across his nose because his nose is there so we need to find the shape find the shape there we go Find the shape. I'm gonna have another look at my painting. I found him right here, and then back down again. Let's get a little bit of. Okay, let's go straight into some black now. I'm gonna have to wash my brush in a second, and let's just put his nose in. I love painting in this style. I think it's it's it's, I think it's a great way to to learn. I really do. in our shape that I'm looking for because he comes down there like that 
might use some noise in a minute because one of my neighbours is having a some work done to his drainage system, so I'm expecting a <laughs> some noise. I really am. Yeah, just play, observe, paint, observe, paint, observe and paint. Just gonna put that in the pot. I'm gonna pick up a detail brush. Um, is that too small? I asked myself. It may be, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna get these eyes. I wanna get these eyes because these eyes are googly eyes. I notice the sheep's eyes are. They pop out a little bit like that. And this is an exercise. This is. It's not about the painting. This is more about observing and and working from observations. Um, that's what I suggest you do. This is not so much about the painting. It's more about observing, and I keep reiterating that. And um, let's put his block his eye in, and let's just get that shape that we're looking for. There we go. Maybe that needs to come up a bit more that way. Okay, picking that brush back up. Because I've left it soak in the water. Because I didn't want to wash it, I just want to wipe it dry like that. So I still got those colours in there, and I want to pull this around like that just using damp brush pulling that down don't forget they haven't all got wool on their faces mind and sheep are not just white this is why I'm trying to blend this color together like that I'm pulling that up there let's get a bit more blue back in Get that shape. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to give this some some woolly hair. I think so. I picked up a quite a lot of paint on that brush. Look, and I still haven't washed this properly yet. I'm just going to now loosely, using a bit of texture, just put in some. I nearly said fur. <laughs> it's wool. <laughs> just put in some wool shapes, like this, fluffy, fluffy, and fluffy, fluffy. There we go. And he's got a little bit of light coming onto his ear like that. There we are. I don't know if we'll give him a. I might give him some black ears now, I think. Should we give him some black ears or some pink ears? I'm not sure. Sometimes you can get a little bit of pink. And I mixed the orange. Why did I mix the orange? Because it's a complement of blue. So if I wanted to grey my blue down, then I just add a little bit of orange to it. And um, I might just do that in a second, just to show you. So I'm just working on this sheep there you are. not sheep it's quite expensive this canvas <laughs> it's not sheep <laughs> okay right um let's do what we said we were going to do let's get a little bit of sail on let's get a little bit of sail on blue there we are a little bit of sail on blue and let's add just a touch of orange to it and you'll see what's going to happen is it's going to gray down there you go. It's going to grey that blue. It's going to mute it. It's going to not going to. It's not going to be so blue. There we are. Oops, a bit more. Actually, it's not far off a teal colour, is it? If you look at it, it's quite tealy. There you go. There we are. Look, it's quite a nice colour, isn't it? It's muting down some blue. And well, let's get some of this in now. Let's just. a bit of teal colour just to and just work on we'll, we'll bring his bring his thing out a bit like that work on his shape and form let's just put a little bit of that muted blue colour in there let's just drag a bit here and there just use this colour up um, it's a little bit on the green side for my liking. It doesn't matter. There we go. I'm going to wash that brush. Washing our brush out. Going into some white now. Straight into some pure white. Again, let's just work on dragging through a bit of wool-like 
hatten. Let's get some highlight on his face. There you go. Molly the sheep. Yes. Just uh, bear with me. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I, had to I couldn't resist that joke. Just bear with me. There we go. Let's put some more fluff in. Texture. Give it some texture. Give it some life. Give it some texture and life. Let's put a little bit of. Be loose. Be loose with this. Let's get a bit of that blue colour. I just want to bring his or her ear down like that a touch. Along there like that. Nice fluffy sheep. Bit more texture. Texture's good. It brings it, f it brings it forward. Texture's good. This is not about the painting. So this is more about learning techniques. This is more about um, understanding how paint works as well. So understanding the principles of light and shadow and. texture of paint you can you can make a painting by just working with texture of that painting let's get a little bit more darker blue on my brush just want to darken that blue up just darken the color I wash this brush again I'm just using the same brush and I'm just bringing a little bit of cooler shadow now down the side of Molly there we go Molly the sheep yeah, bit of cool shadow. There we are. Now that's a little bit flat there. So what I thought I'd do is let's just get a little bit of light color. Let's bring a little bit of more. Let's bring a bit more light in there. Being quite loose and just dragging our brush through. There we go. I'm going back into that blue color there. Let's just put in a bit of a shadow there's our grey colour we mixed let's just define that shape there a little bit more there and the rain is coming down here in Wales today and I'm sure the sheep are out in the field and they're, they're asleep under the hedge so bring in a bit more white just under this eye like that there you go Let's bring in a bit more. So it's not about painting something that's white. It's about finding what colours are in that fleece. What colours are reflecting in that fleece. And bring in just a little bit of life and a bit of character to the sheep old Molly the sheep let's just close down her mouth a touch there we are I can bring a little bit of light across the top of that nose like that Finding that shape. There you go. Find that shape of that sheep. I've not washed this brush. Now I'm going to go into a little bit of. Well, I've got some orange here. Let's just make some orange. Um, let's get a bit of white to that orange. I want to lighten it right down. There you go. I'm going to bring a bit of orange now. Orange is a complement of blue. So if we bring a little bit of orange into the U then it's going to sit well 
with Molly. It certainly is. Molly the sheep. There we go. Add in a bit of white. Just bring in a bit of life into this year. And um, we can add a little bit of black. Let's try it. What happens if we add a little bit of black to that? Well, we've got a nice grey look. We've got a, a grey, orangey grey. So we want to put some shadow in the year. Maybe just a little bit darker. There we go. We want to put some shadow in this year now. This year is going to be a lot darker. There we go. Looking good. Let's get some orange. We can afford to go in with a little bit of a brighter orange in this year. Because the light is shining through this year and you can see it's, it's more of a skin rather than a fleece. So you can see a little bit more of the skin colour, maybe a little bit of that, you know, the blood vessels and things coming through where that one is in shadow because it's behind it is actually behind the the fleece there so you can a little bit of yellow just maybe poking its head through like that just to give it a little bit of color a little bit of contrast getting some of this dark color now mixing a bit of black with that just to get that nice dark color there we go and we can go in to our detailing brush again and um let's get some of this blue let's get some of this blue and then we can just tighten up the eyes just a touch like that um we can get a little bit of orange on the tip of our brush just put a little bit of orange just into that black like that observation let's look let's look at the let's look at this eye observation so basically the eye is is round like that and it's got a little bit of a raw sienna or um, yellow ochre tinge to it it's a bit it's a bit on the orange side but the pupil the pupil itself goes that way like that so observe these things because not all eyes are the same so it's important that you observe these things and let's just get a little bit of white just into that eye like that and let's get a little bit of black on the tip of our brush on this just draw the little line there like that a bit more just draw that little line like that can't see that one so much and let's just tighten up this black observe observation observation is the key to especially with eyes and things like that you need to make sure that it's correct there you go let's get a blue bit of blue and again Clive's rushing this as he normally does but let's put a bit more blue shadow just under that eye like as if she got a bit of blue shadow eye shadow on <laughs> she's a bit of blue eye shadow there we go let's go back into my my short flat I'm just going to give her a quick wipe again with some tissue paper and that's just just dry and I just wiped it like that it's just dry look and I'm just gonna no that's wet I'm just gonna bleed that through like that spend some time spend some time with it there we are a bit of white bit of blue just over this eye to make it come down like that make it stand out a little bit more there we go let's get a bit of more white on our brush and let's just bring a few more bits of wool into the sheep and add a little bit of texture bring some life into this thing bring it forward it's a sheep it's just looking around as I said just looking around at us it is it certainly is where's this green color we add let's get a bit of that in there let's add a little bit of yellow to it there we go 
Let's bring a bit of more, let's put a bit more green down. And where are we done? Um, we nearly done. We nearly done. Let's just bring this sheep up. We nearly done. Just get some more. Mixing a bit of grey. I want to get a bit of shadow in here now. Using the brush, I'm going like this. doesn't look quite right so let's just bring that out like that observation it's important that we observe so it's going to catch some light there that could be the other side of his body that looks a bit better doesn't it what do you think how does that look looks a bit better it certainly does okay and what you could do then if you want and then you like Put in some grass and features in. Um, and if I can find a, if I can find one, here we are. We can go and make some green, add a bit of yellow and a bit more blue. And um, I'd like to take this opportunity. Thank you for watching this video today. Please comment in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And that's very important. Um, I'm a public funded site, so. You can sponsor me via Patreon if, if that's what you want to do uh, for as little as a dollar a month. Um, or not, just do me a favour and watch those adverts. Yes, just watch those adverts. And you can put a few bits of grass in here and there like that just, just to bring this forward from that. And um, there we go. And as I said, please pr click that subscribe button. Don't forget to check the iCards and, um, and give me a thumbs up. <laughs> and um, like, comment, share and subscribe. I've said that enough times. So thank you very much for joining me in the studio today. My name is Clive from clivesart.co.uk and I will see you on the next lesson. Nice. So grab your brush, have a great time And don't forget to click subscribe Visit clive5art.co.uk